हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू ई क्लासेस ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिक स्टैंडर्ड लेवल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सम्स रिलेटेड टू मीन इन आवर लास्ट वीडियो वी स्टडीड अबाउट मीनिंग ऑफ फोर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मीन मीन कंबाइंड मीन वेटेड मीन एंड ज्योमेट्रिक मीन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डू द सम्स रिलेटेड टू मीन Let's have a look on some important formula to find the mean of ungrouped data. Direct method and shortcut method. Direct method has a simple formula that is mean x bar is equal to sigma x upon n. Where x is observation, sigma x is sum of observations and n is equal to total number of observations. Second is shortcut method. It is solved when assume mean is given in the question. So x bar is equals to assume mean plus sigma d upon n, where a is equals to assumed mean, d is equals to deviation from assumed mean, sigma d is equals to sum of deviations, n is equals to total number of observations. Now let's have a look on formula of grouped data. In grouped data, we have two types of data that is discrete data and continuous data. So the formula to find mean for discrete data with direct method is mean is equals to sigma f x upon n, where x is equals to observation, f is equals to frequency of observation, n is equals to total frequency, or is equals to sigma f. and to find the mean for discrete data with shortcut method the formula is mean is equals to assumed mean that is a plus sigma fd upon n where a is equals to assumed mean d can be solved with the formula x minus a f is equals to frequency of observation n is equals to total frequency is equals to sigma f now the formula to find mean for the continuous data with the help of direct method that is mean is equals to sigma fx upon n where x is equals to mid value of class f is equals to frequency of class n is equals to total frequency or is equals to sigma f and if you have to find the mean of continuous data with shortcut method the formula is x bar is equals to a plus sigma fd upon n into c where d is equals to x minus a upon c x is equals to mid value of class a is equals to assumed mid value c is equals to class length n is equals to total frequency is equals to sigma f in our today's video we are going to solve the sums related to ungrouped data with direct method and grouped data's discrete data's sum with direct method we studied in last video that there are two types of data one is ungrouped data and other is grouped data and the formula to find the mean for both is different for ungrouped data the formula is sigma x upon n that means sum of observations upon total number of observations but in grouped data the formula is different the formula is mean is equals to sigma fi xi upon n let's solve the sum and be more clear about it here the example of ungrouped data is given birth weight of newborns are 3.3 and 3 and the formula to find mean for ungrouped data is sigma x upon n sigma x means sum of all the observations now Sum of all the observation means three point three plus six point one plus five point eight plus three point eight plus two point seven plus four point one plus three point four plus three point nine plus five point one plus three. That gives you forty one point two. 
and divide by n n means number of observations there are 10 numbers so 41.2 divide by 10 that will give you mean and the mean is 4.12 kg so the average mean of newborn baby is 4.12 kg so this was the sum of ungrouped data why such data is called ungrouped data because it is not given in any table form or it is not classified in a proper manner so it is called ungrouped data so we have solved the sum related to ungrouped data now let's solve the sum related to grouped data and be more clear about that here example is given let's read it a survey of 100 families each having the five children revealed the following distribution number of male children 0 1 2 3 4 5 number of families 9 24 35 24 6 2 find the mean of male children now as it is given in a proper table form so it is grouped data and we will solve accordingly so the formula for ungrouped data is sigma fx upon sigma f or frequencies can also be written as n so sigma fx upon n here in the question number of families is given that is frequency and the number of male children that will write as x so in x we have written 0 1 2 3 4 5 in frequency that is denoted by f we have written 9 24 35 24 6 2 now as it is grouped data we have to find out first fx how to find fx that is f multiplied by x so 0 multiplied by 9 that gives you 0 1 multiplied by 24 that gives you 24 2 into 35 that gives you 70 3 into 24 that gives you 72 4 into 6 gives you 24 5 into 2 gives you 10 now we have to sum up fx fx column we have to plus it and the total of sigma fx is equals to 200 and the total of frequency column is 100 now we'll put the values in the formula mean is equals to sigma fx so sigma fx is 200 divided by sigma f or n so n is 100 200 divided by 100 is equals to 2 so we have find the mean of grouped data from exercise 3.1 sum number 1 and sum number 3 are similar to these sums will be your homework thank you